Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Nexon's Big Huge Games. We are in war and not doing very well from what I see. I think there's a few people that are upgrading a few too many things. Uh, we've got Mac with us. She's Hi. here. Hi. I'm waiting. My artillery is going to be done in, I think, like 10 hours. So. That's super exciting. It really is. Like, they're huge gains from cannon to artillery and from artillery to um, howitzers. They're very, very large offensive gains. So I can appreciate you waiting. We're going straight across this war. Uh, and if you guys haven't heard the news or seen the news... I did make a post in the Nexon forums in regard to the head-to-head because -head, uh, I'm a little bit bored of seeing everybody saying, we have the best alliance and we're undefeated. Well, not for long. There's going to be a head-to-head -head, and obviously it's just for fun. Um, I'm not making that claim for the outlaws at all. There's too many other people that are claiming that they're better and I've seen some of these guys and they are better. Um, but there's... Uh, Discord chat that you can go ahead and join. Uh, there's also some forums. Well, one forum that I've kind of set up uh, with the assistance of Ambria from Invictus Army uh, in order to fill out your tab with your war so that you guys can try and set up a head-to-head, -head, which them and us have done successfully in the past and are going to do again. This Saturday we're going to try? After, after this war, so whatever day that is. Is it Saturday? I don't think so. It's Wednesday. I'm not sure. So we should be done <coughs> Thursday. Is it Thursday? So we should so be maybe boring Friday. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll keep you posted. Absolutely. So, <coughs> this is my straight across. I've got my tactics back, so I'm a little bit less concerned. I think I'm actually going to attack across this face here. Um, so, I'm not, the only, uh, there's howitzers in the city centers. That's of concern. So I'm thinking I will run a sabotage here and possibly one here. I've got a wall sapper I'm probably going to throw in to hopefully get in this compartment. Um, I thought about going here, but I don't want to have to take on that I think that would probably eat my troops by the time they were through the town, the city center. Yeah. So, um, nothing producing tanks over here. Not that I see. So, he's got one lower level uh, mortar, two enlightened age mortars. That's an upgraded garrison, so we can anticipate that the city center troops are going to be the shock infantry. <clears throat> However, if you're disabling it, it they shouldn't even come it, out. Yeah, it doesn't even make a difference. Um, still lower level cannon towers. Well, I shouldn't say lower level. They're industrial age cannon towers. Or uh, enlightened. enlightened age. Uh, oh no, those are light tanks coming out of there. So there are those. So he's got two upgraded, three upgraded. There's one there. Mm -hmm. So there's some light tanks that we're going to have to deal with. I've got my level 3 plane to come and help me out with that. Um, his road networks are non-existent. So after getting through what, literally one wall to get to his city center and just for, in part for my own purposes, the range on the city center is going to be right about there. So that's, that's my estimate. So I actually have to get the sabotage has to go down because it's a range of I believe it's about five and a half or six if I'm not mistaken um, I think anyways I hate how this thing is there let's go check it out on mine and we'll we'll do the estimation on that we can almost play like the cheaters role and we could uh, yeah Oh, see, now where did that go? So if we go there, we run it there, and it goes.
goes out to there. Right. I think theoretically we, should, we could be able to actually kind of... Uh, and for me personally, I think that you should be able to do this by selecting his city center, right? Right? So that's his range. That's the range on that. So my estimation, I think, before was about accurate. I do want to get my sabotage on there prior to putting my wall sapper in there. Yeah. Yeah, just to be sure. Absolutely. Um... So that's the story with that. War map. I think you should be able to touch on other people's base bases though and see what the range on stuff is. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, I mean, but I mean, you... With experience, you learn yeah. the approximate range. Like, you were pretty close even without that tool. Yeah, I think so. And I, actually, that's as a result of some advice by Mr. Lax. Um, Mr. Lax has been playing this game for a long time, and he's a heavy metal pusher. Heavy metal pusher. Heavy metal pusher. Um, but he, the, his recommendation for me was when you're going to loot on a base to, to do that. To actually, you know, estimate where they're actually going to pop out and see how close you are. Uh, and I think that's a good thing for everybody to do if you're if you're looting or whatever you're doing. If you're playing the game just in general, give that a shot. Try it out. Um, I think we're about ready to go here. <laughs> okay. And like I said, we're not doing too stellar. We've got 17 stars with 9 out of 50 attacks used. Uh, they've got 35 stars with 16 out of 50 attacks used. Their most impressive, of course, is Vito's are number one. Their global age went French went and took them out. I started. That's impressive. That's very impressive. So that's where that's at. We've got my level three biplane. Um, kind of excited. My MK3 biplane. Two fusiliers, which are currently upgraded, be done in eight days. Uh, 25 riflemen. Two heavy tanks, uh, three supply trucks, one wall sapper, veteran wall sapper, uh, six artillery, and one uh, heavy Gatliner. I thought about going with more Gatliners, but I've been having some pretty good success with just the one. Um, now let's see. Mercenaries, I've got three Mahout this time because I wanted to be a little bit heavier. So I've got Mahout, his wife, and her best friend Barb joining them. Two of the brothers, Heshin, the other one's uh, actually at a wedding. He's the best man. Uh, we've got three sabotage, one betrayal, just in case I do miss, uh, and my protect. My generals, the husband-wife couple of Napoleon and Joan, are joining us again. My alliance troops, I've got tanks. Uh, two tanks. Those are, those are actually pretty fat. Yeah. So, two tanks and one... What do you want to guess? What is that? Is that a Black Watch? Or a Righteous Rifleman? Black Watch. Yeah, so one Black Watch. And let's just double check that we're going on the right guy here. I've been scouting them all morning, so I, I hope so. Well, yeah, and see, we're used to starting war in the evening, so... <clears throat> war positions. I'm sure the alliance is a little... I think everybody's a little bit confused. They're not quite awake. So, what do we want to do here? I think I'm actually going to start it out with... Hmm. With those first... And then we're going to go with those. We're going to go with the heavy wall sapper. We're going to throw a disable on there. Then we're going to throw the rest of my troops down. And then we're going to go... See, I wanted to get in there a little bit faster. that howitzer pop out? I can't see with your hand in the way. Nope. Okay, so I think I was fortunate there. 
we're going to get some support going in there because I'm losing artillery. I'm down to three, which is exactly how many you need to actually get through a base. So that doesn't help. Um, we want to get you guys going this way, please. We can throw a disable there on that in order to try and save some of my riflemen who are currently taking out some gold. I'm gonna sing, hang on, try and hang on to my. Well, see, those tanks are doing well. Um, I'm sad that I lost. I'm now down to two artillery. That's very disappointing, isn't it? Get over here. Stop being silly. We want to get rid of those. I think I'm going to have enough to make it through this base. Um, it is going to be a bit iffy, though. I'd like to see that. Uh -huh. I want to see my plane survive all the way through, but I'm not sure if he's going to. He seems to be, uh, yeah. You can go your own way. All right. So, are we missing anything? Let's just zoom out here. Take a look there. I think we're doing okay. But a minute 16, just a couple of speed rallies away from uh, from getting this done. Actually, your troops are behaving very nicely. They're, well, after that initial, yeah, I think they are. Um, I'm very happy about that. They're going around the base as they should. They're not. We're going to get them all over there. Uh, you know what? We can actually just throw those two guys down there. I was worried I missed a, like a little pot of pot of gold at the bottom. A little pot of gold. A little pot of gold. And what are we missing? So that's five stars. We just wanted to kill all the guys north of the uh, the base. So there you have it. There's five stars. Uh, that makes me very happy. Even surprisingly, I was actually shocked that I got through that base with only my two artillery. Yeah. Um, but I think I was fortunate in the sense that he did not actually have a house or in a city center. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything pop out of a city center. Obviously, I'll have to review it. Yeah. Maybe no, I, I don't. Maybe I killed it in time or... I didn't see... Did you use two sabotage on it? No, because, well, there's a zero wait time, so you can't, yeah. and they don't overlap, which I think is a flaw in the game, honestly. Yeah. You should be able to overlap those. Like, if it's going to cost me two sabotage, it's going to cost me two sabotage. But there's no, there's no real mechanism to allow you to actually overlap those. Yeah. Um, especially with zero wait time. But there you have it. I mean, I only lost six of my riflemen, obviously my wall sapper. sapper. Four cannons, four artillery, that's that's kind of sad. And of course my two fusiliers. <clears throat> but there you have it. That should uh, hopefully help. Much better than the last war, that's for sure. Yeah. <coughs> and I don't really think I used all of my artillery. Or all of my tactics, rather. I'm pretty sure that I still had a tactic remaining. Yeah, it's amazing, right? It is, it is. Um, yeah, it really is. I mean, once you actually have your tactics, it's a completely different game. It really is. Like, I still have, I still have one sabotage and a betrayal. A betrayal. Yeah. So, I don't think that base was exceedingly difficult, though, to be honest with you. Um, my only concern would be that there was an, a howitzer in there. Yeah. Um, and I certainly yeah. wouldn't have been ready for it. Yeah. I wasn't ready oh, for it at all. It's just... It does. It, it takes you by surprise, doesn't it? Even though you know what the range is and all the rest, and you throw down that. Yeah. Well, no. It just it bothers me that how... Town center troops mean more than a good base design. Because you can have a crappy base design. If you've got howitzers in there, then all of a sudden the guy's gone. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, if they manage to come out... Then you're done. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's 18 seconds is how long that sabotage lasts, which isn't really... 
That's not a lot of time. No. Like, no. it looks like a lot of time. It's not, though. And, I mean, quick victory, first 30 seconds. And usually it's quite close down to the wire because you've got to get through at least some buildings. Yeah. And, I mean, I hate, hate having to force target the town center. Yeah. I don't like doing it. I like my troops to do it naturally because it's just like... Mm. It's a good way to sacrifice a lot of your troops. Yeah, it really is. It really um. is. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, Marla will be on later to do her attack with yes. her brand new shining artillery. Yes, that'll be much later this evening. Yeah. But in the interim, uh, keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.